it. All right. Okay. So uh, let me get some ideas from you as well. Just uh, manage that a little bit. All right. So I just wish to hear from you. What comes in your mind when you hear the term research? What comes in your mind when you hear the term research? This is very simple question to you. May I know from one of you, one of you, anyone, what comes in your mind? Sir. Yes, sir. Sir, am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Uh, yes, sir. When uh, we think about research, uh, we particularly study to find out a solution of a problem. And for that, uh, we study, uh, we conduct extensive study, mm -hmm. take some samples, mm -hmm. and it involves uh, with maybe field work as well. All right. That's it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Asupu, sir. Good insight. So, uh, other friends, I wish to hear from you as well, one by one. So, yes, sir. Uh, the gap between the theories and the, its implications and the response, like that. <laughs> okay, so gap between the theory and implications is right. Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, other friends. Sir, can I try? Yes, please. Uh, so for me, when I hear the word research uh, is like a study uh, about some topic mm -hmm. and to find out the problems uh, regarding the topic and also um, to study uh, about the topic simply that's great that's a good point to to study about the topic all right yeah. others so maybe uh, knowledge exists already so that we mm -hmm. know what where to proceed on from Okay, so existing knowledge is there. Yes, sir. And we need to find out the certain ingredient of that existing knowledge mm -hmm. and go into the deeper, right? Yes, sir. Okay, great, great. Okay, Yogita, Yogita Ji, yes. Sir, I think uh, it is a um, find out the problem on a specific topic and at the same time solution which also um, give us like uh, knowledge mm -hmm. on a specific area. Okay. That's great. All right, thank you. Others? Sir, uh, sir, sir uh, I just want to ask first, uh, I just got in, so uh, uh, have, are we discussing on what is research? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. So good afternoon, sir. So uh, what I think is uh, research is basically a study where it could be a comparative study. It could be any kind of study where we want to deepen our knowledge and find out more about the problems, existing mm -hmm. problems and find solutions to it and also uh, um, provide scope for further uh, study. Great. Great. So, so scope, scope of further study is like the point. Yes. Thanks. Okay, good. Okay, Navinama. So it's like uh, finding about any issue or subject matter mm -hmm. by studying deeply and also um, giving uh, references to it, mm -hmm. and or by doing some survey okay. and comparing to the uh, previous uh, research which has already been done and uh, the research that we do. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just this deep story about any subject matter. Okay, you talked about the survey, you talked about the comparison, comparative study as well, right? Yes, sir. That's good. That's a great point. Others? Um, so for me, yes. Yes, Gina, please do. Okay. <laughs> so I think, um, I think it can be taken as a study or an investigation done to fill in the uh, gap in the knowledge 
okay okay in a study or investigation that is done to fill the gap of knowledge right yes sir that's good that's great okay sumitra ma'am i think uh, research means uh, it is a rigorous study about the cause of the problem and uh, finding the ways to solve it that's great that's great okay so other friends hello sir yes sir so for me research means to uh, find an opportunity to uh, to to do something uh, for this science and uh, in this specific area. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a kind of science where we where just we dig out something different from this specific area, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. All the friends. So for me, uh, research is investigating. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is done uh, systematically considering uh, many things. Okay, so, uh, your, your new words is systematic study, right? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. Investigation, which is systematic, sir. No, ma'am. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we're getting you. Good afternoon, sir. Um, research, when I used to uh, hear this word in my uh, school days, I I used to think that it's all about uh, scientific research, scientific invention. And um, but uh, afterwards, when I grew up, uh, then I found that uh, research can be done on social issue also. Um, very specific uh, in local area maybe if there is any problem uh, for solution we can do research okay. and uh, afterwards i felt that uh, research should be done uh, in all areas uh, for better uh, for making a better society um, so uh, I think all students in masters should do some research, should have uh, ex experience some doing some research uh, on their people, their locality, uh, their language, their culture, so that they can make their life uh, better. Okay. That's so, all. Uh, research is a way of transformation, according to you, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Great. That's great. Other friends. I'm expecting others to say their ideas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, research is a scientific uh, process of study, mm -hmm. which tries to uh, cool piece the gaps of any problem, and it contributes something to the society and the humankind, okay. I think. Okay, so it's an academic contribution as well, right? Yes, yes sir. Okay. It contributes, okay. yes. Okay. Other friends, feel free. Anyone? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Uh, sir, for me, research, what I think, uh, like my other colleagues have said, uh, for me, research is just like um, uh, answering the queries we have mm -hmm. uh, for finding out the solutions for the prevailing uh, problems in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. So research is a problem. The center of the research is problem. The problem may be connected to society. Problem may have a connection with culture. Problem may have connection with language, language learning, language teaching, language testing, whatever, right? Okay, that's great. Other friends, any specific idea anyone has?
okay we'll have same discussion ahead as well and i got a lot of ideas from you i think the multiple ideas were there so research you know i have heard one term of the wingo and wingo in 1976 the wingo and wingo in page number 376 he said different people are wearing the different looking glasses so they view the world differently so the views regarding riches are different but ultimately the goal is same goal is the same that goal is to bring changes in self and others to bring changes in academic cosmo to bring changes in teaching learning river that's why it is called the voyage of discovery as well people call it voyage as well and it's a never ending process never ending process and our journey of research begins with certain problem in the particular area that is what we call the research right so your ideas with them and i'll just go with this term you can see one picture here and i am very eager to know from you what does this bicycle indicate someone is learning bicycle right yes language yes yes sir yes someone is learning bicycle and you know he is learning to ride bicycle don't you think that the learning to ride bicycle is also kind of research yes, yes sir because it's it's typically action research i could call it yes he acts yes sir he does it so it's a kind of action research you know learning to ride a bicycle is similar to learning to research because research journey begins with certain doubt in our mind you might have heard the name of nietzsche one of the philosopher you know what he says is that there is a concept of zeroism in nietzsche's term you know zeroism means even the newton has created a third law of motion invented discovered a third law of motion but there may be someone who can counter attack the third law of motion of nit uh, nit i mean the newton and that counter attack is possible through the concept of zeroism means everything every theory every aspect everything has certain zero point certain loophole certain you know onset point the point of onset point point of initiation so if we are accepting anything undoubtedly that cannot make us perfect researcher so the best quality for the researcher is to learn to doubt on our academic cosmos we need to have doubt 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 is necessary when the teacher teaches you if you accepts everything what the brahmin or you know peter teaches us preaches us that theory doesn't work in case of research what brahmin just say we do soha that's not a research friends from bangladesh you are getting me in your culture as well you might have seen or uh, you know uh, the gurus priests yes mullahs what they do is that they teach us ideas and we accept those ideas in our culture i mean in my culture as well what i do is we what our priests says we accept that and accepting the same thing told by someone is called shoha got it so we cannot accept anything like that it means that's a blind belief never believe by blindly if you wish to become a perfect researcher this is what i mean to say 
learn to doubt learn to doubt what your teacher dn teaches you learn to doubt what you other teachers of katmandu university teach you learn to doubt what you read in certain scholarly writings learn to counteract those points what ns prabhu says about language concentric circles learn to doubt on it what english people say english is our property then learn to doubt it if someone says whether we should speak kaki or aunt, auntie learn to doubt auntie is not always a term that should, that we should accept it we can even say kaki in nepali or what you say in other languages learn to doubt or take those points and you're attacking or you're attack to that point that area must have a valid justification logic from your side valid justification from your side arguments from your side that's what we call a mandatory thing in research you're getting me and in yes. layman's term okay in layman's term what i say is you know research means i have a daughter her name is somma and one day she was watching television and she was watching cid in one of the indian channels and i asked her what is cid and she answered me cid means there is one daya there is one abhijit and they meet one antagonist who does a crime and then daya and abhijit they prison either they uh, imprison them or detain them or they put in custody or they kill them that is what he calls cidc sent and i realized you know one thing for her that's a kind of research so every doubt every answer you have that is a research so do not take this research term as a jumbo term it's not like that research means the question in your mind the question in your mind if you have certain queries that's a research if you have certain doubt that's a research you know you might have heard one philosophical term philosophy means it's a kind of philosophy also research is a kind of philosophy for me i have heard one term in philosophy what is philosophy uh, in in one of the book i read drishyate anena iti darshanam it means whatever you can see through your eyes and what you cannot see or something beyond your eyes that is also a philosophy it means i call that is also a research in front of our eyes and beyond our eyes that is a research that is a research that's what he called the research now so learning to ride bicycle is similar to learning to research this is what i mean to say and i'll just further more now many of us many of us we have a problem you know what problem is many students what they do is they ask the question sir which area should i choose how can i choose this is a problem with many of us might be with you people as well this this is a kind of query you know i expect you to find out the research topic because you have your personal life and you might have observed felt seen some incidents some events that trigger you more in your personal life regarding teaching and learning let me be specific specific regarding language teaching and learning yes and 
the first way to get the research topic, research area is from your personal life, through your personal life. Now delve into the depth of your personal life, from the schooling to now, and you might retrieve something that has triggered you earlier and still you are in the condition to search for the best answer to that. So your personal life, your lived experiences may give you the best title of your research. First thing. Now let me go with what this personal life mean. I will again talk to one of you and let me just talk to one of the person. Uh, okay, Anuji, Anuji, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Anumim, I have a question to you. Uh, how long have you been teaching? Uh, seven years. Seven years? About, yes. Okay. Uh, to which uh, level of students are you teaching? Primary. Primary. Five. All right. So which subject? Language, English language and social studies. Okay. English language and social studies. Okay, mm -hmm. so which school did you study? I mean, the, what about your schooling? Can you share your experience of your schooling? Uh, you mean my, um, the basic schooling? Yes, your schooling, yes, basic schooling. What do you want me to share about like my I just wish to or... know about you know, your life history of schooling. When did you start? How were your teachers? How did they teach? Did all students learn everything what your teacher used to teach? And what about your learning? What you felt? Can you say a little bit? Oh, well, uh, my primary school was fun. Uh, the mm -hmm. teachers were like, uh, they were like friends, most of them. But sometimes they were quite uh, mean. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they were not very kind, quite rude. So at that time, my friends and I, we could not uh, study well because we were just fearful. Uh, mm -hmm. At other times, when the teachers were really nice, friendly, and like a family member, we we enjoyed our classes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was my pers that's my personal experience. I don't know about my friends; maybe they could still manage somehow. That's great point, ma'am. I have sir, got one. Sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Tirthaji was asking for the link. Uh, yeah, he called me. Please. Oh my God! So sorry. Didn't I send him link? Uh, I don't know, sir. He, he, yeah, he was calling me, saying can please, that. Can you please forward that link to this? Is it? I wonder if you could possibly assist me. Okay, sir. Okay, I'll do that, sir. Thank you. All right. So, uh, Anumim, I got one point from yes. there. You know, some teachers were uh, rude to you, right? They were not, mm -hmm. they, they did not have that much, uh, they were not too much focusing mm -hmm. on uh, students' autonomy as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So don't you think that the role of or the effect of autonomy of students in the classroom for English language learning can be your title? Yes, sir. It is possible. You're getting me? Yes, sir. I do. Now, did I give this title or you're germinating yourself? You're creating yourself. You are creating it yourself. It came from my experience. Yes. 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 So that is what you call the personal life. Friends, getting me? Yes, sir. Yes. Anyone has any confusion? Anyone? No, sir. No. I expect someone to speak. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. So uh, does it mean every research paper should be connected with our personal life? Uh, the deeper the research agenda has roots, the better and the more rigorous your research paper becomes. It doesn't mean that you need to connect, you need to connect that, you know, research to your personal life only. This is one of the way to get the research agenda. Got it, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Other friends, No, thank you. If any query, feel free to ask. We'll discuss around. Now, after personal life, next way 
to get the research or uh, to for the potential idea regarding research topic is read the world around read the world around what i mean to say is what i mean to say is in this world everything is interlinked you know the teaching learning activities that take place in the eastern world affect the teaching learning activities of west teaching learning activities that have been dominantly practiced in bangladesh will have direct impact in teaching and learning of india and nepal as well sometimes we are last time i was i was just reading one of the news from uh, one of my friend from bangladesh sent me a link and two professors asapul sir krishna ma'am and others two professors where you know uh, they were terminated from their job position you know why just because of one reason see now how strict the universities are they should be to bring the academic quality why they were terminated just for one reason because they copied ideas from others that was a case of plagiarism in writing research yes sir she is very much a renowned person here and very famous yes you got it. <laughs> so uh, there are my friends yes, status news yes please i mean there was a news yesterday ah yeah. uh -huh. yes sir so uh, you know uh, last year that friend and me we were in singapore and thailand for the conference and we met there and later on we became and unfortunately this year i couldn't come to you because of corona i was about to come for the belta conference so he sent me so see now this is the world happening world happening the role of plagiarism or the effect of or or you can say plagiarism and its effect on research plagiarism and its effect on research colon a case of english language teaching can be another issue got it you're getting me so this can yes, be another sir. yes this can be another issue so you need to read the world read the world doubt the world be skeptical to the world and we can get the research as end up from that also this is another way of devising the research problem any query on this point any query um sir you said uh, plagiarism and its effect on english language learning teaching uh, or on research yes we can say plagiarism and its effect on on researchers okay. of english language teaching okay sir got it this could be another possibility other friends um sir i have another thing i mean it's better if you show the slides yeah also i'll go with that i'll go with that just i'm uh, setting the ideas on it okay. okay now read the world is that point and third one is societal problem in organizational dilemmas societal problems and organizational dilemmas let's try to connect these two terms to teaching and learning in education field now let me say you know many parents they feel easy to become parents but they feel very difficult to become responsible parents as a result they are not able to give time to their children and that affect the teaching or that affect the learning of students right am i right yes sir so role of parents in students learning performance don't you think it's issue 
Yes. Definitely, it, sir. It can. Definitely. It should. Yes. Another issue also, organizational dilemma, let me talk about. For example, Kathmandu University is here. And in Kathmandu University, students, sometimes whatever in any organization, the students are not able to get conducive learning environment because of organizational structural problems. And it means the role of certain organization, certain community school, certain university, certain department in enhancing the teaching and learning activities, in enhancing the teaching and learning activities. These two examples I gave you, connecting it to the societal problem and organizational dilemma. And I'm just focusing these two terms to English language teaching and learning. If I talk about the developer studies and others, they will have more problems. For example, uh, in case of leadership or development studies, let me talk about. Uh, in development studies, even they can they can talk about uh, leadership and its effect on teaching leadership and the, its structure to gear up the teaching and learning or if we talk about some social problems, uh, superstitious beliefs and its effect on school enrollment. Yes. So there are many examples, thousands of examples you can create here regarding societal problems and organizational dilemmas. So your research topic may have a connection with societal problem and organizational dilemmas as well. This is what I mean to say. Okay, friends, now your questions on this, this point. Anyone? Uh, sir, is it uh, like the gap between society and organization or the problems facing between them? Uh, uh, Ma'am, can you, can, can you say like this? Yeah, of course, it's a gap, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But I'll give you a typical example. For example, you are a teacher. You have been working in certain institution. That institution is organization, right? And because of their policy, because of their behavior, because of their uh, tendency to deal with their teachers and students, the teaching learning activities have been severely affected. Yes. So we can and, say it's, it's kind of hide and seek game between two stakeholders. Of course, we can say we can say like that also. So uh, organizational dilemma, we can say like this: organization doesn't have certain policy, certain rules and regulations, certain provision for the betterment of the students' learning, or for the betterment of the teachers' sustainability in the schools or colleges. As a result, what happens? There are effects, loopholes we can find like that. You got it, ma'am? Sir, can we say yes. this way? Uh -huh. uh, can we say this one, uh, this way, like uh, when students come out uh, becoming master degree holder, mm -hmm. but uh, after um, being, uh, after holding that degree also, they cannot get job or uh, they cannot fit them in the society. Mm -hmm. um, so we can take that also as a research agenda. Of course, of course we can take, we can take, definitely we can take like that. Societal problem also we can say, for example, you know, in our context what happened, uh, one of my friends, uh, he's the principal in one of these reputed colleges somewhere. And you know, once he visited his hometown and his grandmother said, what he said, what she said? Babu, teacher ne ho ki jagir paes. Friend from Bangladesh, listen to me. Grandmother, when the, that my friend visited grandmother, grandmother said, are you still a teacher or you have got a job? It means society, in some societies, still the teaching job is not taken as a job. Don't you think it's a kind of societal problem? 
Yes. I mean, this yes, sir. Nowadays, actually, sir, money is the level of the of status, <laughs> not what you are. <laughs> yes. I, I, I'm facing it every day. Yeah, that happened. So you know the the perception of the people towards teaching, perception of the people towards learning, perception of the headmaster towards students, perception of the school teacher towards students. And their effect on, their influence on teaching and learning activities is the burning or typical example connected to this, this, this area. Got it? So you're getting me? Yes, sir. Okay. Any more queries on this topic? Sir, may I, may I have a query, sir? Yes, please. So, so far we have been we have been talking about problems, yes sir? Yes, yes, of course. Where can we find the research issue? Yeah, I think problem always does do not mean only the shortcomings of organizations and any any social institutions. If that's, uh, that's, some, that's a great some, point. If some organizations, yeah, they perform in better manner. Mm -hmm. Then how do the organization to perform in such a way? If we uh, what carry our research on that, is it problem or not, sir? Of course, the problem can be viewed from two angles, sir. Whether you 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 take it as a for atom bomb or a for apple, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> I got your point. So uh, your your positive point. That's a great point. I could say problem doesn't mean always negative problem can also be positive because the, that problem is not problem. That's a kind of issue to be further researched, right? Yes, sir. Yes. You're right. Yes. Next, the current events, it has a connection with other points also. So uh, current events, uh, let me talk about the teaching, English language teaching methodology, whether you talk about the post method pedagogy of Kumara Vadivelu, whether you talk about task-based approach, whether you talk about the role of English, I mean the Hindi English in the Indian society, or whether you talk about uh, the development of Nepali English from the year 2000, um, I think 1910 to 2070. Six in Nepal, yes, Nepal, yes. So, so sir, there is a, another language in Singapore, Chinglish. Yes, of course, sir. Now, what happened is, let me talk a little bit about it also. We can search, you may find out some ideas from it also. You know, Bajra Kathru and Yamuna Kathru, they have talked about the consenting circles of English language. Consenting circles of English language. And they have divided the whole community, entire community of English language speaking into three categories. One is expanding circle. Another one is outer circle. Another one is inner circle. So, you know, inner circle means the people who, people of English as a mother tongue speaking country. For example, Bana countries, Britain, America, New Zealand, Australia, poor countries. So this is the inner circle. So the people who speak English as their mother tongue are the least, least in number, inner circle. Then outer circle. Outer circle means people where the English has been given the official status and English is taken or perceived as a second language. That is in second position. And expanding circle means there may not be English, the status of English, uh, let me say, uh, announced by the government or that has not been documented as official language in the constitution. However, the people speak English. So there are many countries where the English has not been given the official status. 
despite that there are people they, despite that you know they they speak english we have been speaking in nepal english has not been given the official status we speak so we belong to the expanding circle bangladesh as well it belongs to expanding circle singapore its outer circle india english as a second language outer circle china like ours yes so three circles are there you may find even research issue from that english in nepal and its development can be another issue as well english in bangladesh and its development can also be another area so you can even find the research area from that you no know, those things and next is scholarly research context i said the positivity i'll be to, i'll be talking here more sir scholarly context it means the more we read the more idea we get regarding research agenda i mean the regarding research the more we read the more topics we can paint scholarly context i have sent you three four books research in applied linguistic or research in elt or research in tso like this did you get those books did you sir you gave it in first class right yeah yes sir did you check the moodle i checked it okay so there are four books read those so scholarly research context is demanding and i love to go with this more scholarly research context because if we develop our reading culture the more epistemology we have i mean the more knowledge we have and we know about the ontology i mean the reality of the world and that trigger us more and more and more and we think of going deeper down into that that is a reason you got me what i said are you getting me yes sir yes sir okay so i'm i'm going to the next next slide now if you have any query i'm here to answer that or we can have a discussion anyone no all right let me say like this funnel metaphor what do you get from this this metaphor i mean the this picture this image shown sir the right side image fonts are not so clear oh font not clear i mean the the yes sir so the final choice then what it is sir Fi brands what brands yes now first one is many brands then fewer brands then okay. final choice finally buy so it's uh, basically trickling uh, trickle down theory just uh, you are uh, minimizing your uh, um, um minimizing the um the study and then uh, focusing on the main uh, issue and then getting um finally coming to the conclusion after going through everything so great, trickle great. down yeah. okay great thank so you generally what we do sir when we wanted to buy a mobile phone we do it at okay. first time we have a lot of choices then we look at the features then they sort out some fewer brands then we select the final one then we buy it exactly right other friends amazing yes 
just just what you've got from it from this funnel metaphor can you derive something uh, so yes sir I, um, hello yes please yes um like uh, through the picture uh, just uh, saying okay sir <laughs> Many brands here, it, it may refer to like um, the overall view of any particular topic. We can go and read out um, views of many scholars or many people or, or the views. And then fewer brands means like uh, we go for um, uh, a little more, a little uh, than the overall, mm -hmm. like um, uh, a little specific one. And final means like very specific and exact or accurate to the point. Okay, great, great, ma'am. Yes, other friends who was speaking earlier. So we start with uh, many ideas, many conceptions uh -huh. at the very beginning or on the outset, and then gradually we analysis collecting data, mm -hmm. and at the last point we we'll conclude after uh, analyzing all the data, and we will come uh, in the final version. Great, great. Other friends, sir. Yes, sir. Is it the metaphor? This uh, this funnel metaphor, I think, relates with the selection of a problem or topic because okay. we narrow down our topic. All right. Uh, is we cannot uh, carry out research on the broad and vague topic, uh -huh. solve a matter. Uh -huh. I think this metaphor relates with the selection of and choice of the topic. Good. Great, sir. Thank you. Other friends? Yes, sir. I wanted to say that uh, uh, what uh, Prakashji said, uh, it's about selection of um, research topic. Uh -huh. When we read uh, many research papers, so we have a lot of ideas um, regarding ELT or other things. Then as we read, then we can... Um, narrow down the ideas mm -hmm. and at last we can find a specific topic on which we want to work great thank you other friends yes sir i think uh, it is also it is our mm -hmm. issue uh, on our research topic so yeah after having so many topics and finally we uh, stick with one issue so, yeah, that is the, uh, I think that is easy for our topic. Great, great. Thank you. Other friends? Sir, you know, yes. this reminds me of uh, our, uh, you know, the simple water, I think it's the filtering tank that we have on top of our houses in Nepal. Uh -huh. You know, the simple one where they have these three layers, you have the larger stones, and then you have, and then you have the smaller stones. Sorry, my network. Okay. Yes. Hello? Yes. 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 So water filtering system. Yeah, it reminds me of that actually. So I thought maybe you know it's like that. We have so many ideas of what we might want to do, and then it narrows down to maybe some few things that appeal to us, and then it really narrows down to something that we really want to research about. You know, it goes down to the main core. Great. Exactly. Other friends. Everybody should speak. Uh, sir, for me, it's like a, a draft and working in a draft. Like first we will have a draft, right? And then we will work it in every day and try to make it final. And at last we will come with the final version. Great. You, you've gone broadly, yes? From <laughs> to final conclusion, yes? Yeah, I just try. <laughs> okay, okay. Others? So, yes, sir. Uh, what I think is uh, first we think broad, uh, broadly for the for our topic and for the even selection of the topic also. Then later we go more specific, specific, and at last we got the conclusion that finding of our results. Great, sir. Great. Good. You know, inside others, others, others. It is the same thing, sir. We get uh, lots of uh, general ideas in our head, mm -hmm. 
And from those general ideas, we specify and uh, reach to the special, specific conclusion to uh, find out in which topic we want to have the research. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone has the micro surgery of this one? More? No. All right. I think you got the ideas. Everybody's what what you share is perfectly, you know, matching to it. You know, research area is like this. It is connected to your assignment zero also. Yes, this this slide. Assignment zero you might have seen. You know, if you see its front part, it's quite wider and wider and wider. It means you are reading English language teaching, English language education. It's like a hydra in psycholinguistic term. Hydra means a monster having endless number of heads. English is the kind of hydra. It has a poetry, it has a prose, it has a drama, it has a language skill, speaking, reading, writing, everything. It has aspects like vocab, pronunciation, blah, 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 others. May Hydra, endless number of heads, endless number of heads. Slowly you move, you know, you, you just make it narrow, 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 and reach to the particular specific topic, right? Got it? One point is this. Yes. Yes. Another point can be, as earlier someone was saying, research segments, we start from the very broad spectrum, broader, broader perspective, and slowly you narrow down it and come to the conclusion also. So researching is like the symbolic meaning of funnel metaphor. Any kind of, any confusion? Any confusion? If there is doubt, cut it out. Yes. No. Any confusion? No, sir. No. Okay, where is Rajinji today? He's here or not? I'm here, sir. I'm, I'm listening. So you are just listening. What happens? Maunam Swikrita Lakshanam, I have heard. It means to remain a silent means I have accepted everything like this. You're getting, sir? Um, I had some like background noise here with the kids, so I'm not, I was not <laughs> talking. Uh, yeah. That's great. All right. Thank you, friends. So Thank you. Uh, I expect everyone is getting me and if you have any confusion feel free to talk because we enjoy it if i will not be able to bring the crux of your understanding then we all together can bring the crux yes that's what you can do okay so i'm, I'm just going further with another slide what is that slide let me see okay Now, I will not be talking more about your research, uh, I mean, the assignment one, because you got everything from the first zero assignment. Assignment zero has connection with the fourth slide that we talked earlier. And now I'm going to writing a background of your research article. Last time we talked about it, and I think you got a lot of ideas about it. Uh, you know, uh, we had a talk, you know, somebody said, whether we should write the research puzzle or we talk about the background or we should write their research issue or we should write their research context. We have multiple terminologies uh, regarding it. But can you ask these three questions before you start writing the research context or background of your study? Three questions, three pertinent questions that has academic significance and pragmatic significance, both. Why is the background of this study important for your research? 
you need to be very uh, you need to be crystal clear regarding this point why is the background of your of his study important for your research first second what information should you include in the study background you need to be well prepared for it in advance and then how can you write a well structured and engaging background of this study this is another point three questions let me go with the first one why is the background of a study important for your research before going to that i'll be talking little bit on within a one week's duration what have you thought about which area you are intending to go with my question to all you can raise your hand and speak which area you're interested in now which area you are intending to go with yes please so uh, i mean in in last uh, time last semester what i have felt that whatever i'm thinking i want to do is is uh, my teacher is saying that is is great but when it it is about to data collection data collection uh -huh. i mean the, <laughs> this is a very big issue because yes, i don't have the facil facility to get those kind of data <laughs> yeah that's the problem it's it's a good lesson or if sir mohammed sir why i'm saying is you know uh, because of one thing some research topics are quite interesting but we need to think twice thrice what you have to think is will i get data easily will i be able to get research participants easily will the research site will be accessible to me these are the big questions you need to think before you choose or select particular topic great experience that is what we call the personal experience good sir others what area are you thinking now then krishna ma'am sir i'm thinking about uh, curriculum design meaning material making um syllabus uh, redesigning in our country mm -hmm. um i i want to i want to work on all these things like curriculum then syllabus then materials um these things and also assessment system okay okay ma'am oh uh, you have four areas one is assessment then it's curriculum designing all right so curriculum we can yes. under the syllabus also no matter so two areas mm -hmm. i could say right yes or material designing also material yes how to make materials how to make a uh, congenial and um uh, the materials which will uh, fit uh, with the, the current situations uh -huh, uh -huh. okay you mean designing materials for effective learning and teaching right yes sir yes sir so designing so, now choose one ma'am whether you will go with designing material for effective learning teaching or designing curriculum for effective learning and teaching uh for now i want to go for uh, material because i think it's necessary now be i mean the be <laughs> yes sir wait now yes yes materials designing materials for okay i was about to say be dukka but i then i knew that what dukka means you will be in problem <laughs> i will not say so you are fixed with it right yes sir i think so, so. yeah the fixed means dukka <laughs> all right okay yes. you got it all right thank you so your topic is over now now no no problem with you yes yes ma'am is it okay designing materials for effective english uh, effective um, language teaching if i ask you is it okay why you are doing <laughs> it what is your answer i think uh, i feel it uh, we need we need it in our case in our because you are the researcher 
you are the researcher last time i said yes okay sir so that's a great idea great point thank you thank you ma'am now other friends one by one let's Hello, fix sir. the topic today. yes sir yes prakash sir yeah i'm doing some research on kirat folklore and i'm interested to conduct a research how folklore especially um, uh, either folklore in english folklore in kirat folklore in other culture mm -hmm. they contribute uh, to uh, developing uh, english language teaching in college or either at school is it possible sir uh let me let me question you sir before i say yes or no okay yes, sir. how will you connect folklores to teaching and learning can you tell me yes sir teachers using folklore in the classroom how he or she perceives it is a good tool to make the classroom effective or meaningful how is student learn through the use of folklore for example myth legend stories uh -huh. and so will you be will you be confined to the kirat folklores or overall i think yeah we cannot get the material uh, of kirat folklore in our curriculum so i think uh, i will confine to the folklore that is in english found in uh, textbook uh, in secondary or college level so why don't you say that then you shall folklores in english language teaching and learning yeah actually i am thinking that sir great sir now you are done with it all right but Because sir problem is sir yeah. folklore is uh, i think broader broader you know tom so uh, within the folklore there are myth there are some legends there are some stories i think i need to go uh, with the i think that narrowing, narrowing down the topic yes sir oh uh, i cannot say like that because you can use the myth someone may use the myth or you can use yeah. other i mean the other others also so i will not say right now to uh, narrow down it because i i think i think they all can be covered within it yes sir yes sir got it okay sir okay sir thank you sir now your topic is all right okay yes sir thank you okay okay now now the thing is that in assignment 1a you will have we will have to write down why did you think of carrying out the research in this area yes your story i need in that assignment 1a think of it after doing assignment 0 all right okay sir now, other friends let's fix the title Yes sir. Yes, sir. Can I say, sir? Yes, I have actually brainstormed three right now, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so topics are benefits of extensive reading. Uh -huh. uh, next is English classes pre and post COVID. Uh -huh. And next one is use of technology in English class. I will suggest you to go with the first and second. I like to go with second then, sir. In this class is pre and co post COVID. Please, please go with it. Now, why do you want to go? What made you conduct the research on it? I will. I will bring the yes, sir. Like uh, so many things have changed. You know, post so many things will change, sir. After we go back to school. So, uh, in this class is pre and post COVID. I will uh, bring technology, everything, sir. I'll bring third topic also in, into it. That's even first. Even first, sir. Okay, fix with it. Let's Pardon, sir. Oh, let's press together with it. That's a good idea. Okay, ma'am. Okay, sir. Now, Anuji. Yes, sir. So last yes. uh, semester we did actually uh, explore some of our topics, right? Um, because we were trying to learn how to write basic uh, research. How do we even uh, explore things like that? So, uh, I I did have my topic, 
and I actually seriously intended to pursue it actually uh, because of some uh, some problems that I found when I was teaching. Uh -huh. So, uh, how can you frame the title, ma'am? Can you just try to frame the title? Hello, ma'am, can you hear me? No. Hello, ma'am? No. Other friends, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, Anu ma'am, frame the title and then again we'll have discussion at the end. Now I will go with another friend. Please, Ray. Sir? Uh, yes, please. Uh, so, I think I'll do, I mean, my topic would be student and teacher relation. Is it okay? Or... I mean, uh, you mean the role of students teacher relationship in classroom management? Okay, classroom management. That's a perfect yeah. topic, no doubt. Now, how will you proceed further? I will think of it, and you will have to think, and then after reading your assignments, I will know it. How are you doing? Okay, yes. Sir. Okay. okay sir. Perfect topic. Great. 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 Other friends? Uh, so, sir? Yes, please. Okay, Sanzi. Sanzi, man. Okay. Uh, sir, um, since we all are uh, teaching in uh, dif uh, using different technology, right, because of this pandemic, uh, so I'm interested in uh, uh, in the use of technology during the pandemic. But I'm not teaching now, so I'm I'm a little confused. Oh, you're not teaching. That's why you are in confusion, right? So uh, yes, but but I'm interested to know like what kind of technology and how this uh technology are helping the students or what are the problems they are facing during uh this virtual uh class. I want to know about that. Okay, so uh, the role of technology in English language teaching and learning, right? Yes, I'm just thinking of it. But I'm not sure. Okay. Under technolo technology as well, uh, there are different ways. For example, gamification in learning. Yes. Through technology. That is another way. Next one is use of smartphone in English language teaching and learning. Right? That is another. So you can choose any one you have, anyone among these three. Two I said and one you. Uh, sir, do you mean any particular technology? Yeah, you can go with the particular technology as well. For example, use of a smartphone can be one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, other overall, of course, the uh, use of technology in English language teaching can also be another. Uh, and, yes. Yeah, one thing we could do with your, your topic, what I can say is that, for example, in the classroom, uh, the students are not allowed to take the mobile phones, right, in our context? Yes. And even the parents do not allow students to take mobile phones, and principal and teacher as well. But you know, the mobile phone can teach language. There are different apps, games can be taught. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of, you know, uh, emancipation uh, in teaching also uh, because why i'm saying it uh, if the students are given freedom to use the mobile phone in the classroom who knows they will learn language better even if they wish to learn about the you know if, if they wish to get the words they are not acquainted with they can just look the mobile dictionary and find out the meaning even the different games are there different apps are there for english language learning Quiz programs are there for English language learning. They can use. So you can choose anyone, ma'am. Anyone. All right? Getting me? Yes, sir. Okay. So Thank you, sir. Fixed with it. All right. Other friends? 
So can I go? Sir. Ab pass guard number one. Okay. Sir. Yes, yes, please, ma'am. Sorry, I got cut off just now. Um. Yeah, so I was saying that uh, I meant it as a serious topic in the last semester. It's just that I didn't know how to write at that time. I mean, I'm still learning. So mm -hmm. mine was, uh, I read a lot about that too. And I think I still have much more to uh, read. It was on listening, actually. So, and specifically, it's it was about process in listening. So mm -hmm. when I was reading through, I found that it was more about uh, product oriented, you know, it was about the outcome. So there was, uh, there was a large gap in um, the process, how the instruction when listening activity is supposed to be done or how it's supposed to be done. And, you know, to focus on uh, specific uh, objectives for each day instead of just listening just to produce listening just to produce you know there's something specific like listening for gist or information directions so things like that so i wanted to focus on that so um i was hoping that it might be something like process oriented listening for young learners okay uh ma'am i have one question for you before mm -hmm. i um say yes or no okay mm, the question is do you think in nepal the teachers focus more on listening? No, sir. No. So will you be going for the action research or you'll be will you be going for the other sort of research? Maybe not action yet, sir. I'm not so confident about that. So I think uh, you can teach listening better. Sorry? I think you can teach listening better. Teach listening better. Yeah. Uh, you mean, are you asking me whether I can teach listening better? Yeah. Right now, you mean in class right now? No, 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 no. Even to your students. Mm -hmm. Can you teach yes. listening? Yes, after the last semester, I started focusing more on how to be effective with my instructions when it comes to listening. I tried to balance my a uh, week's lesson, uh, it would not just be focused on reading and writing. There were some elements of listening involved so that uh, all this, you know, the four components that we generally focus on in class, like uh, listening, speaking, reading and writing, they had, at least they got equal weightage. So that's what yeah. I do in class right now. You do. So where do you teach, ma'am? Which is school? Um, Yulin school. Okay, Yulin. You mean you are with the Sikha and Gita? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. One another ma'am is there, I think Bhatta, Bhatta, yes, Bhatta ma'am is there. Yeah, there Bhatta is. Or Gita, I don't know, I forgot. Gita, name. Gita. Okay, Gita is there. All right. So, uh, if you are teaching listening, and if you're satisfied with that, or even if you're not satisfied also, why don't you go with the action pieces then? Because you will teach I'm yourself not confident, that's you, why, sir. Yes, you will teach yourself you will find out the remedial strategies as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sure, finally, sure. we'll measure the effect of your teaching listening. Okay. Can you do so? Okay, sir. I'll aim for that then. So I strongly you know, encourage you to go for the action research on this topic. Because in Nepal, the people generally tend to neglect this area we should be given priority. Got it? Oh, we got this idea, what I said. I have seen government school teachers, you know, they even do not teach their students listening. And they just, you know, you know, give the 24 marks out of 25. And students also, they feel that ah, we get the marks without reading, really, why should we go for it? They have this tendency. Excuse me, sir. So, Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So what is action research, sir? Uh, How do you do it? Actually, action research I'll be teaching you in chapter three. But little bit I will say here. Action research means you act in the classroom. You find out the problems with students. Then you act, you diagnose the problems. Then you act with the students. Give the new, new strategies in teaching that particular area. 
and then measure their me measure the strategy, the effect of those strategies used in the classroom. So it's like one class, sir. So we have to do everything in a class, and whatever yeah. we find, you have to write, sir. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma oh, okay, okay. Sir, are you? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Are you referring to action classroom action research, sir? Yeah, classroom action research. Yeah, we did last in the first semester because yeah. we, yeah, we do this G and me. Is is it that? Uh, yeah, that's the kind of. So where did you do it? Did you visit any site or you? You, te you taught and then you collected the data and then you just elaborated what you did and the, what were the findings, you did it? Yeah, we did. Uh, uh, I did uh, in my own class, college, uh, uh, bachelor level student. That's good, sir. We can do actually but, for the topic. But our research was affected by the COVID because we cannot, we could not conduct properly because during that time classes were off. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But um, uh, we, we tried. Sir, I will not suggest everyone to go for the action research only. But yes, sir. I'm just suggesting Anumem for it. Why I'm suggesting it? People have neglected listening activities in, the, in, in, in our context. I want to see teachers working in it, working on it. And, you know, Ipsy just tries to show us the activities of other teachers going to the government school, she will get nothing. Though she may get ideas on some of the schools, very few schools, but not in all places. So better if she goes with action research, there will be the more rigorous findings. That's why I'm suggesting her to go with action research. Okay, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got it, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, Nasla ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. What do you say? No, no, sir. I didn't say anything. Okay. What about your topic? What about your topic? Sir, I've already said, sir. English classes pre and post COVID. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Sir. Yes, please. Um. Okay, how do you go? Okay, so I am planning for challenges of ICT lab for English language learning. And one more topic also, the social influence in English language learning. And for this uh, challenges of ICT lab for English language learning, so I think I have some uh, story also behind it. Uh, for example, uh, where I got my schooling, there was nothing about the ICT. And after my bachelor graduation, I started in that type of school where all the subjects are taught by the ICT. It means uh, they use ICT lab for the uh, for their teaching. And uh, now I'm teaching here at Dhading and I back to here government school. And here also, here is a lab and uh, for the uh, electricity also here, uh, the invent of other facilities like solar system also, but uh, our head sir also said that it's all about uh, the budget was 70 lakh and but the lab is not for the use, it's all closed and we have other teachers, other colleagues also who are active and were uh, Nordic, so we started that, so I think uh, I can find such type of problems in other schools also like uh, in this area and uh, I will try to give the suggestion on that. So how about the challenges of ICT lab for English language learning, sir? Yes, sir. Uh... Okay, okay, sir, I'm getting you now. Uh, actually, uh, certainly uh, you just said me two topics, I think one is ICT and other was socio. Social influence in language, English yes. language learning, sir. Okay, social influence in English language teaching. Um, like, sir, both topics are perfect. And bringing perfection in your research is dependent upon you. 
Now the question is, if you will go with that topic, first topic, I'm yes, not sir. disagree with it. You can go with it. And if I were you, I would go with second one. So? If I were you, I would go with second one. So social influence in English language learning. I think so. this one is broader. So I go for the... <laughs> I, okay. I, I saw this, that the first so one. Why, why I said, you know, that was because ICT, of course, in your area, you can do now how to bring it in the shape and which, uh, where to focus, what to do. We'll decide on it later on as well. But the question is, you know, I just wanted to know uh, if, you, if you could just research on the social influence. Social influence may also denote, you know, the um, friend circle or peers or groups or let me say uh, the, how many, uh, what sort of students are there, what sort of friends they, a person or students uh, have or have, whatever. So uh, if you can just go with it, it's a new area for us. So which one you suggest to me, sir? Uh, the first one or second one? I, I love to take challenge. I love to take challenge. So I will go with the second one. But if you're thinking of first, I cannot deny because it is also the burning area. Sir. So, so I think the social influence, it's broader term. So if I can't handle it, so there will be some puzzle later. So I will go with the first one, sir. Challenges That's of ICT fine. lab. That's fine. Now, how to make it specific and how to make it better, better I, can, I can suggest to you when you're writing, yes? Okay, sir. So that's good. You can go with that, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. I, I need your help for that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, other friends, now we're uh, doing great work. Yes, sir. Um, uh, yeah, so previously I was thinking about uh, the topic about why uh, the pronunciation aspects like stress, word stressing, and uh, sentence, sentence, sentence intonation is difficult for Nepalese. Uh, yes. Nepalese in general, yes, uh, but I feel like that's a broad topic, and I don't think like we'll be uh, you know learning about uh, uh, you know you know like of uh, phonetics or phonology in uh, during this course. Um, so that's one topic uh, that I was another topic was uh, that I'm thinking is uh, the prevalence of Nepali medium instruction in the uh, UK affiliated colleges in Nepal. And its effects on the English language proficiency in the students, um, because I have come across like uh, um, student Nepali students who are admitted to expensive, um, you know, UK affiliated colleges. Um, but what I have come to know is that the medium instruction is in Nepali most of the time. Uh, so that's also another topic. Um, I think that's not as broad as the the previous one. Um, so what would you suggest? Hello. The board topics, right? And now the question, you know, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. So both the topics are, you know, uh, interesting. I cannot deny any one of them. The but I you know the second topic, I'll be thinking. You know, I'll be uh, going with. Why I'll be going with is because to find out the contextual gap. It's very easier for you and you can find out. Second thing, nobody has conducted the research in this area. They're basically connecting to the UK-based schools or colleges. Okay. Got it. So please go with the second one. Okay. So uh, in order to conduct the research, right, uh, typically how many students, like there, I think there are like a three or four uh, colleges which are affiliated with the UK universities. So typically, how many students do I need to like, uh, you know, talk to um, or gather information from? Okay, uh, sir, uh, it, it's a jumbo question. So um, for now, what I could say is that whether you'll be going for the qualitative research or you'll be going through the for the quantitative research, even under the qualitative research, whether you'll be going with the narrative inquiry or you'll be going with the ethnography or you'll be going with the autoethnography or you'll be going with the phenomenology, or you'll be going with the case study. A lot of things are there. So how many participants to select? We will decide it 
only in third chapter. For now, you understand qualitative research, ideology or philosophy is that the less the number of students or research participants are, more deeper we can delve into. Okay, sir. Got it, sir. So even a qualitative research can be conducted within single participant, research participant. Mm -hmm. So I will suggest you to go with the four to five, four maximum research participants. Sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Other friends? Um, sir? Hi. Yes, ma'am. Um, I actually have shared my topic already last time. Okay. Hello. Okay, so it's I think you yes, forgot ma about it. Okay, uh, student teacher relationship and academic performance of the students. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I want to do it on this topic. Yeah, I talk I talked to you about it last week uh, as well. Some preliminary questions for you now. The questions yes. are whether we, you will be making your uh, teachers as a research participant or students also. Um, I think I have to include both. <laughs> students plus teacher both, right? Okay. Yes. All right. So, so what would you suggest me? I think I have, yeah. Okay. Uh, will you be going with the interview only or observation also? Mm, I uh, yeah I um, yeah observation should also be good. Um, yeah, I think observation to make my research even uh, more authentic. I think yeah, because if I just take the interview, I don't think it's right. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Okay, so what are you thinking? Are you thinking of bringing the table or, or let me say, doing the quiz one? So could you repeat it again, please? Hello? So what, what type of research you are thinking of doing? Oh, okay. Quantitative I'm, or quantitative? I mean, you would I'm, do, Okay, yes, I actually maybe, thought about... Or, yes, sir. Can you get it? Can, uh, I actually thought about um, qualitative research, but then, yeah, maybe you can give me some su suggestions. Hello. Hello, everyone. Am I audible? audible? You are audible, yes. I think, sir. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Is it maybe it is because the storm? <laughs> I got yeah, yeah, yeah. About, uh, I really yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, Gina, ma'am, let me let me just tell you, um, in short, uh, your topic is that, sir. I'm I do not and get you designed to select later. So, uh, I mean, your topic is perfect. Mm -hmm. You can go with that topic. Okay, sir. And regarding the business design, which design we will have to follow, we'll be talking later on. Let's complete the first chapter for now. I mean, the assignment one, two, three, four, five, like this. And when we'll go to the assignment 4A or 5A, then I will talk about which methodology will you have to choose all right oh okay sir thank you so much thank excuse you. me thank sir you. thank you thank you yes other friends yes, other friends yes uh, excuse yes, me other. so i have a few um uh, topics to um, uh, um i have a few research topics but i wanted to actually uh like last time even i had worked uh i had done on something on uh challenge of challenges of centralized curriculum i want to do something on decentralizing curriculum but um, i don't know like you know what on decentralizing curriculum so that is one topic that i am interested to work on but the other topic that i got uh, that i have today is uh, 
English as a medium in uh, second language acquisition in Nepal and its effect on uh, and its effect uh, on uh, the first language acquisition in private schools. Okay. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> okay, ma'am. I, I have a preliminary question. Preliminary question. Preliminary question. Preliminary and, uh, and, uh, sound sound and, uh, I can hear you, sir. I, okay. I, okay. So, uh, so uh, uh, preliminary, preliminary question. Preliminary Sir, there is a lot of eco. What do you think, you think is English acquisition possible, possible in so because I think it varies in uh, private schools and government schools. For instance, in government schools, we know that uh, mm, that uh, English as a English uh, as second language acquisition um, or you know as a foreign uh, language, English as foreign language or English as second language is uh, is is very different to uh, English as a medium of instruction in private schools. I think it's okay. Okay. Uh, because uh, in uh, what what I have noticed in because since I'm teaching in a private school, what I have noticed is that uh, when they are actually writing or studying, um, uh, yeah, like when they are actually in their Nepali uh, class or when they are, um, uh, you know, using um, uh, their first language, then they make uh, then they have trouble writing in Nepali language. They are always asking for, uh, you know, uh, they they always uh, have, uh, you know, um, problems with vocabulary when it comes to writing in Nepali. So I've noticed that a lot in private schools because uh, I I'm currently teaching in this school for the, for the past three years. But even before I before this, uh, I was teaching in another private school. Even in that school, I noticed that children, um, uh, like in private schools, it is very different and uh, i think their uh, um, their um, second language uh, that is english mm -hmm. is more stronger mm -hmm. than the first language so does that like uh, is there some uh, like um, what i'm trying to say is that uh, it has affected i got it i got it point i got it point uh, one uh, thing you have to do what you have what to do, you have is, to do you know, is, you know, uh, you have you to have justify. justify. First thing, First you, thing you'll face you'll the sense. I doubt it. You'll face the sense. You'll have to justify, have to justify or, or you have to convince, convince your supervisor, your supervisor that, that how, how English, English language, language acquisition has, has been placed in the past. How? English language acquisition. How is it? Second language, language acquisition. Okay. I think you are taking you are taking English language uh, means uh, English, uh, English, right? right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Uh, if, so, if so, yeah, you yeah, can you can, can, you can go, can with, go it, with it. No doubt. No doubt. But you'll have to justify, have to justify again, again, and I want to see, your, see your, uh, uh, your one, and then, then I can verify. verify. Okay, so but uh, is there any um, uh, thing on uh, decentralizing curriculum that I could work on? Anything on decentralizing so, curriculum? So, okay, uh, uh, Shaitam, Shaitam, you will mute, mute when I speak. Okay? okay, thank you. So, ma'am, uh, now the thing is decentralization of curriculum represent or it denotes several areas so which specific part you are thinking about decentralization, about decentralization. only on ela, ELA. only in ela english, english language arts okay what does, okay what does it mean to say decentralizing decentralizing uh, curriculum according to you according to you I feel that uh, uh, somebody studying in uh, Rolpa and somebody studying in Kathmandu in a pri private school should not be giving uh, the same uh, English examination that they give. They should not be using the same books. There should be different books and there should be a variety of books actually. Uh, and we should have uh, we should have cur different curriculums, uh, different I mean different um, books or something that uh, caters to everybody's needs. Because I think uh, we have made we have ensured. Uh, 
you know we have ensured that we are catering to the needs because if we make uh, if we make the curriculum very strong then it may not be applicable in rural areas or in areas where uh, we don't have enough uh, resources but at least uh, you know in places where we have enough resources i think there should be uh, the curriculum should be more stronger because okay. has it been has it been in, 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 in the context of nepal, nepal? Uh, no it has i i like i think we do that in private schools because we are teaching them novels and they are doing novels in different uh, uh, grades actually but then when it comes to grade 10 then they are doing that english book and there is nothing else okay so uh, uh, how so, many you know like you like for example in yulans in ratabongla in nisorgo in uh, 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 sanskriti international school in schools like these kashta mandap we have we have uh, they have uh, in english we have different novels that they study for example in my school in sanskriti i uh, i introduced uh, uh, the kite runner in grade 9 so they are doing it as a literature but but they studying khalid husaini in grade 9 and going back to that english book in grade 10 so it does not make any sense mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so what is your, what is your main, main objective, objective in in my main objective is that we should have a uh, different um, uh, thing uh, different books and it will also it will also bring out different it will also uh, uh, you know bring out the creativity of the teachers and i think it will also uh, help the students to um, um, have a stronger base in language in english language have you been practicing, you been practicing it in your class, in your class? Okay. yes i i am doing the hunger games uh like uh, for example i'm doing the hunger games and uh, i'm do now, 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 now i got now i got now i got i was searching this answer now what i want to do, do is can you mute, can you mute? <laughs> okay so thank you uh, what you can do is ma'am if you have been teaching for last 3 4 5 years how many years so 70 you can, you can go auto ethnographic research so, Oh my God, seventeen, just three years less than me. Great. Okay, ma'am. What you can do is, uh, let's go for the auto ethnography, ma'am. Okay. So what is that? Auto I don't know. Auto ethnography. Let me tell you, auto ethnography means it's a journey of transformation. from centralized teacher to decentralized teacher regarding curriculum hey right? in connection to the curriculum getting me yes sir where you will just be writing in detail about your journey of transformation what sort of students you faced how did you tackle them then when when were you centralized teacher then when did you become decentralized why did you become decentralized what are the so, so actually so actually when i was teaching in primary and secondary sorry and um, upper elementary then i was uh, i was a decentralized teacher because i was making my own curriculum i was choosing the books that i wanted to do with my kids but now i don't have that but but i don't have that uh, liberty now because i'm teaching uh, students who are doing um, uh, who are giving ble or who are doing sce and when they are doing sce and ble i cannot uh, do anything with the curriculum okay. because they have to study what they have to study you are clear you are clear i got you are clear about this topic i'm quite confident now ma'am you will go with the auto ethnographic research i will send you one two books on auto ethnographic research very soon you will know about it and i will also be teaching in chapter 3 all right yes sir now be ready with it thank, thank you sir thank you thank you so it's so, so is my topic okay then ma'am that's ma why that's i was just you know just asking, asking the question the question. <laughs> okay sir <laughs> thank you sir yes. you can do you now hold up you can do us thank you hello sir yes sir hello. yes sir uh yes sir Sir, is it is it okay if I uh, take some other people in my research work? Research participants? Uh, not really, sir. Co-author, co-authors. Co but should I do it individually? Uh, 
uh, sir, uh, if we'll go for publishing research articles, you can do that. But in case of the Kathmandu University research, you I can to do your Okay, sir. So, uh, sir, uh, I I was thinking of two. Uh, I already shared with one of the Kathmandu University teachers after the exam, but I um, mean, for some reasons, I couldn't make it. But I am still working on it. So one is like, um, um, I mean, there are two different class, uh, semesters, uh, like fifth semester, and another one is uh, eight. I mean, new semester, uh, so uh, new semester and fifth semester. So I'm, I'm conducting the English uh, classes with them mm -hmm. and I'm teaching them some grammar, basic grammar thing. I mean, their, their level is kind of like A2 level. Mm -hmm. So my focus is to get, I mean, to push them to get their level of B1, mm -hmm. kind of like this. So what I'm doing that uh, I'm giving them uh, some talks every week to submit uh, uh, to listen to a video. Yes. Or watch watch a video and submit the audio to me. And I'm using my students to transcribe those work actually. So uh, is it okay? Uh, so my my main concern is to find the error error and uh, to do some error analysis. Uh -huh. uh, to uh, to uh, and giving feedback continuously to reach uh, to reach that level. Okay, sir. Uh, it means you are going for the action research. Yes, kind of, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Perfectly fine. Go with that. So another one is uh, the, I mean there. Uh, this is English department, but there. Uh, the I mean new semester, I mean they 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 just admitted in this university, so I'm I'm uh, I have two classes with them. In one class, uh, I'm just uh, focusing on the grammar thing and practicing. So it is basically about listening and speaking class. So I'm I'm just completing the syllabus in one class, and and in another class, I am. Uh, showing them some uh, video stories mm -hmm. with the texts and right. another is poems. So I divided them in two groups. So it's every week they uh, read the story again and again. Then finally they're submitting the, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the reciting. One group is submitting the uh, story audio and another is submitting the one audio. Um, All right. All right. Fine. Uh, it, sir. Now I'm. I'm uh, I definitely say the area is fine. You can go with that. Proceed further. Actually, sir, my my uh, my target is to do some work in future in linguistic areas. So that's why I thought that is better to do. Go with it. Then. Is it okay, sir? Definitely. Okay. Sir. Yes, Thank sir. You, sir. Definitely. Big okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Now, other friends, we are just having the title today. Great. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Who is remaining? <clears throat> sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, please, ma'am. Excuse me, I'm sir. Getting, getting you. Yes, ma'am. I'm getting you. Then I was thinking about my topic. Sorry? Yes, please. Please, ma'am, go ahead. And I was thinking about the role of parents in quality education of their children. Okay, uh, so uh, role of parents in quality education of their children, a case of English language students, right? Mm, yes. Students. Yes, students. Yes. yes, okay. That's fine, ma'am. That's good area. That area needs to be researched. Mm, okay, sir. Okay. Now you, you can go with that. Any more query, Hemanthi, ma'am, you can ask me. Mm, uh, not now. When I need your help, uh, I will. Thank you. 
thank you ma'am thank you okay ma'am yes ma'am so uh, can i go for uh, for my topic i have chosen some but uh, i think uh, designing task based activities to teach poetry so i want to go for that mm -hmm. or uh, i want to go for uh, the role of evaluation in uh, speaking while teaching a language okay okay Yes, ma'am. Both areas are perfect. You can choose anyone. If I were you, I would choose the first or I would choose the second. No typical answer for it. Choose one. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Any more questions, ma'am? No. Not sir, right now. No. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Sir, uh, now is it my turn? I think I am the last one. Okay, ma'am. Okay, please. Yeah, I am the last one. Sir. I'm also here. <laughs> okay, okay. Shall I go? <laughs> All right. Okay, sir, please. I got disconnected earlier, so I missed a lot of things here. Yes, but please. Since I have been hearing you. Uh, I, um, you have asked us to decide the topic, but since uh, in the first semester, in uh, mm -hmm. academic uh, writing, I have chosen the teachers' perception, teenagers, um, teenagers, uh, sorry, teachers' perception on uh, language teaching for uh, teenage learners. And since it is so, mm -hmm. can I go further with it, like the, the topic with Generation Z and uh, effective language teaching? Or I'm also thinking about the appropriate English language teaching methodologies for big classrooms, sir. Since I have a, since the tea school uh, where I teach, have I have a big classroom. So uh, I have do, uh, these two topics. So okay. I want your suggestion, please. Uh, okay. In fact, Generation Z is also the recent area, though the MPhil, one of our students, I think I checked the research proposal of one of the students, Gita. Yes, Gita, who teaches in uh, Ulens. Yes. Mm -hmm. She has been doing in Generation Z MPhil students and um, and the area B class, nobody has done it still. Yeah, you can go with any one of them. So I think you will feel better with the second one, right? Uh, since I have got a little knowledge about it uh, in the first semester, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so but uh, since... Uh, so, uh, <laughs> honestly speaking, uh, this is, uh, I, I have been in this study field now after more than 15 or 20 years, let's say. So, this research topic is quite uh, totally new for me. So, uh, I may be lost <laughs> in a crowd. So, no, you don't think so. Yeah. Uh, that's why we are there. Don't mm -hmm. think that we are, we are connected with each other for this semester only. Yes? Yes, sir, please. Uh, we will um, be even after your class is over after a fourth semester as well. Thank you, yes. sir. So yes. you need not worry about it. The thing is that whether you'll be get, uh, you'll be able to get a lot of uh, reading materials on that or not, yes? Yes, sir. Yeah. So if we can get materials, mm -hmm. reading materials for that, definitely that will be the best one. You mean the, sec you mean the second one? Yes, second one. Uh yeah, particularly because nowadays there are many, there are many, uh, many, a lot of materials you'll get. Yes, so don't worry about. Now you just go on working with one, either first or second, or even in second also. If you can find out uh, some materials, I want to see, and uh, just check the Google, search the Google Devata, and find out if there are some materials, and if yeah, availability of, of materials will work better. So uh, for this second one, sir, uh, you mean uh, I need to source an articles or journals, you mean? Yes. Or type yes. of reading materials you have been uh, Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, articles, journal articles or whatever. Yes. Okay, but first one, what would you suggest? The, uh, for you, both the topics are fine, you mean? For me, both the topics are fine because I'm a bit acquainted with uh, the first topic. Second one, I felt it f new for me. Yes. Uh -huh. And if uh, everyone is going to the east, I don't love to go to the east. If uh -huh. people are going toward the east, I love to choose west. 
Okay, so what would you prefer then? Second one, shall I go with it? Yeah, I'll prefer the second one, but before okay. fixing it, I just uh, request you to find out some materials. If availability is there, then we'll go with the second one. Otherwise, we'll move to the first one. So now, uh, what should I be doing uh, this week now? You, uh, there, are, there are certain number of assignments given in the Moodle. Yes, I've uploaded. Mm -hmm. You will have to go there, those assignments and the assignments are based on your research topic, which area you are going, where you mm -hmm. are going in detail. Yes. So you have uploaded here assignment 1A and 1B. Both of these things are for, for this week, you mean? No, only one you will do. Okay, that is assignment zero is also there. There is one more assignment. Assignment okay. zero. Okay. Then assignment one A. Okay, so this week assignment zero or assignment one A, sir? Zero complete and then go for one A. Oh my God, <laughs> won't it be too much, sir? Assignment 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 zero indicates your overall knowledge as we talked earlier, the broader area. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will, it will not be more than one page or one and a half page, two page. Yes. Okay. So you. So it, 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 enough. Enough. I know. Yes, okay. And in assignment one, sorry, here you are. You have asked background of the study, so uh, it will be the similar like anecdote. Uh, yeah, it will be like creating the research context. Assignment zero, you have asked to add an activity or resource. So uh, here I got so that. that. That means there are many areas of research. Which typical area you are choosing and why you are choosing is the assignment mm -hmm. zero. Okay. That is not gradable. I will not grade it. I asked that question just to make the concept clear. Mm -hmm. How we are moving, how we are following this funnel metaphor, yes? Mm -hmm. So that was a broader spectrum. So uh, I will not grade based on that. That assignment is just to, you know, initiate your you know initiate thinking in a way of research so assignment one you can write in a one page also i don't mind mm -hmm. i mean one a not zero but one a you will have to write in detail where you will be writing the context of your study mm -hmm. how that topic you select how did you select that topic what happened? What are the story before that that triggered you to choose this area? What did you find? What loopholes did you find? What positivity did you find? Or whatever is there, you will write in detail in that assignment 1A. You got it, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so it will be longer, more. Uh... It's long. Yeah, it will be definitely, it will be long, longer. I will send you some samples. Don't worry. Okay, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. Have... Yes, sir. Uh, you mentioned you sent us some files. Uh, is that true? Yes, sir. Moodle. Yeah, I have uploaded four books, research methodology book. Okay, is that all combined under uh, reading materials? Yes, sir. Those okay, books... all right. Okay, you can do. And I will be again sending few articles gradually. For example, today I will upload one article on selecting the topic. All right? Okay, sir. And this slide also I will upload there. You can just go for that. All right. Yes, yes, others? Sir, actually. Yes, Tirtha, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, I didn't get the link on time. Uh, I was a bit late. And so uh, something is missing so far i know uh, actually i'm willing to do research on the role of parents in extracurricular activities but uh, i don't know whether uh, this uh, topic this topic matches or not uh, how can i uh, how can i do especially in that field or uh, English language teaching should be included there. I am confused. Uh, sir, I have a bit, you uh, know, I'm a bit in confusion regarding your topic because extracurricular activities and its effect on teaching and learning. Yes. Yes, sir. So, how will you connect it to the English language education? That's the confusing point, actually. 
uh, I would like to have the comparative study of uh, the of two students who study in one in Nepali medium school and the next one in uh, let's say the private uh, school uh, which uses English. Mm -hmm. So comparative study of English as a, um, the students of English as a medium instruction and mother tongue as a medium instruction, right? Uh, actually, how can we, I connect with extracurricular activity as well? Okay, so a big challenge you have given me. I will have to think of it. Friends, any suggestion for Tirtha, sir? Anyone? Uh, Krishna is here. Anyone? I Anyone? think, yes, I think uh, yes, Tirtha ji can use extracurricular activities, uh, which is um, not extracurricular activities, co curricular activities, like debating. Um, uh, some newspaper reading competition, then rhyming competition, essay writing competition, all these uh, co-curricular activities works a lot in teaching English language. So in I, that, they can, uh, it can be associated. I think Tirthaji is trying to work with parents. Great idea, great idea. Yes, sir. Titaji, uh, are you wa wanting to work with parents? Yeah, actually, I, I would like to include uh, the parents too, role of parents. Then you need to, uh, I think you need to go for qualitative research. And I mean, there are a lot of psychological factors will come in between your research. And can you do, make it? Because it's, then you need to narrow down your topic. Yes, Arifal, sir. Go on, go on, go on. No, I'm just saying that uh, th there are some motivational factors, and what are the students doing uh, when there are there, there there will be no there will be I mean they are out out of the. I mean, uh, when their parents are not watching them in their house, maybe the children are watching some cartoons and in movies in English. So it's also helping them. So you cannot find those things. You need to get the interviews of the students or also the parents. A uh, lot of work. So okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, other friends have any more suggestions? Sure. Suggestion hasn't he finished? Yes, yes, yes. To Tita sir. Oh no, tita, I'm, tita, I'm sir. okay, sir. I'm too, oh. okay. Okay. So, any idea you wish to share to Tita sir regarding his area of interest? No. So what were he yes, saying? No, no, no. So what was he saying? He was saying the role of extracurricular activities. Extracurricular Where activities. He go with that. Or not? Yes. And answer. English language teaching. Uh, Tita, sir, can you say your research area or interest again? Yeah. Uh, actually, I would like to connect. Uh, the role of parents in co-curricular activities. But how can I mix uh, this with the uh, English language teaching problem is this. Do parents listen to the institutions <laughs> for co-curricular activities? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Question comes there. Tirtha sir, let's do like this. Uh, I'm going with the uh, Arifal sir and Krishna uh, ma'am and Navina ma'am was saying something. I don't know what she wishes to say. It's very hard, no sir, like to connect that uh, language learning with the curricular activities, I guess. Uh, uh, I was, uh, yeah, exactly. You, you're right. You're right. 
let's let's bring the crux then. The crux is that I'm going with you three, Krishna ma'am, Arifal sir, and Navina ma'am. Uh, why don't you go with the uh, different so teaching learning activities? I mean, for example, use of debate or other activities in teaching students, you can go or you can go with um, the perception of students, perception of uh, parents and students towards a role of extracurricular activities in English language. I'm um, sorry, I thought uh, I had an idea. Um, so maybe yes, you, we can phrase it as involvement of parents in, um, in, in what, what was the other half what, that he was talking? I don't know how to include the, okay, involvement of parents in Excellent extracurriculum activity of the student i don't know <laughs> okay i was trying to i was thinking something in my head but then i uh, yeah. i think we can say like um encouragement through parents for the students to get involved in extracurricular activities uh, along with learning language i think it's very long but somehow involvement of parents to teach maybe to to teach english language that's confusing that's confusing um uh, sir i can feel uh teacher this uh yeah a problem when i used to um try to uh, introduce this type of thing debating then all this competition regarding um language uh, parents uh, parents uh, Mm -hmm. They showed uh, really a uh, type of reluctance. They don't want them to involve in type of co-curricular activities. But these are useful for language learning. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, of course, of course. So, uh, Tirti sir, what, what we can do is, I think, as Krishna ma'am and others shared, um, extracurricular activities and English language learning, right? It means how do they learn English language through extracurricular activities? We will basically focusing on this. And under this, we will delimit to the parents also later on. We will get the perceptions of parents also. We will just ask the parents we will get their views and we'll write those also. For now, you just think like this. Let's frame the topic like this. Extracurricular activities and English language teaching. All right? Either extra or co-curricular co activity. Okay, co okay. Extra slash co-curricular activities and English language teaching. All right? Okay. Will connect like that. Now it can be done because the uh, more the students are engaged in extra or co curricular activities, they feel more freedom. And when they feel a kind of emancipation in teaching learning, they're, they're learning geared off. This is how I felt it. So you can go with it in a way. All right, sir? Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great discussion. I love the way. I think we're, we, we are just bringing ideas ourselves. Don't you think it's a big experience for us? We're making the research very easier now. What are you feeling, sir? How are you feeling? Oh, great, sir, actually. It's sir, la something like a voyage. Everyone. Something like a voyage uh, of self-discovery. Yeah, of course. Definitely. Great. 
Okay, others now who is remaining? Sir, me. Sir, Ashraful is also. Maybe I will be there after Navina. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be the last one, sir. Okay, let me know. Okay. okay, go on. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, sir, I I just wrote two topics. Uh, I will just share and also I will give some examples, okay? First one, I have kept a new okay. pedagogy or innovative teaching method, method for language learning. And um, next one is okay. like, um, uh, next one, second one is teaching literature in middle school. Uh, its benefits and challenges in uh, learning language. This too, sir. And in first one, I I just uh, remembered what I had did like for uh, uh, teaching in a different way. Uh, in uh, last time in my school, I just, um, hello, sir. Yes, yes, I'm getting you, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yes, I'm getting so, you. Yeah, okay. So I just um like uh yes, I'm getting you. are you listening to me, sir? Yes. Hello. Yes, Navinaji, yes, sir is listening to you. Ahead. You can continue. <laughs> okay. So me and one of my friends from Switzerland, we just uh, made uh, our students, okay, from uh, Switzerland and here, we just made them to be a uh, pen friendship, like to have this and they will just email to each other and um, they will learn about different uh, countries like uh, educational system and their classrooms management and their hobbies, their way of t learning and all. So um, this was the one method that we just used, but there, like, uh, if we think about the new pedagogies and all according to the uh, this technological uh, era, we can also, like, you know, though, like, many schools have already adopted, uh, like, uh, smart boards and uh, laptops and all, but uh, still, like, in Nepal, mm -hmm. um, especially in many uh, schools in rural areas, as well as even the schools of Kathmandu, Many, they, they can't like add up these old things, no? So we can just um, write down the uh, differences by comparing the schools, their systems and their managements and all. So how it all impacts upon the uh, innovative teaching method. Okay, so what is the, your, what is your title then? Uh, first one is uh, new pedagogy or innovative teaching method uh, for language learning. And second one is uh, teaching literature in middle school, its benefits and challenges. Because like uh, we already have textbooks and even in textbooks also usually in English, we have almost uh, three books, a uh, course book, a uh, workbook and grammar. And besides that, we will be uh, like providing students the literature book. And teaching them literature uh, also like it is good, but somehow uh, they can't like be completing the um, textbooks and its exercises and what our school focuses more is to complete the courses and all within the time no mm -hmm. so its benefits and challenges that is the second topic one okay even the use of english use of literature in english language teaching right yes sir. okay first one again can you reiterate New pedagogy or innovating, oh, sorry, innovative teaching method uh, for language learning. What do you mean by innovative teaching method? It's like, um, like uh, going through the, like, you know, right now we are in technological era and we are just uh, like getting introduced to many, many new gadgets and all. And our students, uh, or let's say this generation, they are like much more forward than us. And uh, although we learn through traditional teaching methods and all, but we are not going to follow the same traditional method and going to teach them in the same uh, way. But we, we need to adopt the new ideas and teach them in a different way, um, either by using the smart boards or um, collaborating themselves in the class and all like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so uh, let's say 21st century and English language teaching. 21st yes. century skills. Use of 21st century skills in English language teaching. Yes? Yes. Yes, ma'am. You can go with anyone. Actually, the second topic uh, recently I have uh, I have finalized with Preeti G from ULENS. Yes? Yes. Preeti G? Uh, uh, Preeti, yes. Preeti Karki. 
Mm. I think you you know her. Yes. No. No. Uh, so she's not from know. Ulins. I'm not from Ulins. <laughs> so I was confused. Why is he asking me this? Oh, oh no no, Priti, you don't know Priti, see? Priti Karki. Karki. No. Sir, she's not from Ulins. How will she know? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I'm from home. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> so I will just ask you to go with the first one, ma'am. First one, okay, sir. All right. So okay. prepare on it now. Any more Thank queries, ma'am? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Now, possible, sir. Uh, yes, sir. At last, I have got my floor <laughs> to raise my voice, share my thought. Uh, well, sir. Uh, so I'm thinking to work on e-learning. Uh -huh. You know, recently, uh, in the due to the pandemic, uh -huh. uh, in the context of Bangladesh, though we are not uh, well furnished for uh, technology-based learning, but even then, our teachers uh, cope with the situation and become habituated uh, in uh, teaching. Or uh, virtual, virtually. Okay. So, but I I, I can't uh, fix the topic right now. I need to work on it to find out the gap where I can work. And I will uh, really appreciate if you help me to finalize my topic. Okay. So you you used to work in, uh, you, you used to work connecting it to the pandemic, right? Current pandemic, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, earlier, one of the friends who was uh, talking about the teaching English language in COVID and post-COVID era, right? Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, you can do like this. Teaching English. Yes, sir. COVID and COVID era, right? Teaching English during COVID and post COVID era. But the question is that can we say we are in the stage of saying post COVID era? Uh, no, sir. Because we are, though uh, vaccine has been uh, applied, vaccination is going on here and there, but we, we can't assure that we are now in full period. Okay, uh, we are not in that condition. Uh, let me, let me, I think, Nasla, man. Nasla. Yes, sir. So my topic is also similar. We can, sir, post COVID, because we are already back to normal now. Other schools are so because this research will not we will not do right now. No? So like it will take more than five six months. So I think we will we will be there, sir. Okay, you go with the context of Nepal, and I think also yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir, in that case, uh, should I include uh, like this teaching English during COVID and post COVID era? Uh, in Bangladesh or Bangladesh perspective? Yeah, Bangladeshi perspective. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. You can go with that. That's a great idea. Love the, you know, this is how we call it. Okay. This is for the live the participation, interactive participation. Great. Great, sir. You can Thank you, sir. That. Thank you. Thank you. So, friends, uh, anyone remaining? No one. No, sir. I, 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 I was the last one. Uh, oh, sir, right. excuse yes, me. Yes. Uh, uh, sir, I have a query regarding my topic. Uh -huh. Like my topic is, as we discussed before, the use of smartphone in, in English language teaching classroom. Uh -huh. What I wanted to ask is, like, uh, will I get uh, the materials regarding this topic? Because you know, like in my no, first semester, no, I struggled no, to find the no, materials. That's why. Enough. Don't worry. You will get a lot of materials. Okay. Yes. There are research studies that have been conducted in uh, um, at Kathmandu University as well. Mm. 
So, sir, I have to do in the context of Nepal, no? Yeah, in the context of Nepal. Um, actually, where do you live, ma'am? Uh, here in Nepal. Nepal, uh, Nepal, I mean, uh, Kathmandu, uh, oh. or... <laughs> Kathmandu, yes. Kathmandu, yes. Yeah, yes. You can go with it. You can go with it. Don't worry about materials. Okay. So, one more topic. I just, I just, it, it just came in my mind. Can I share? Yes, please. Mm, yeah, I've written a uh, perspective of a student in classroom and online learning during COVID-19. Okay, perception of the students. A yes, perspective, perspective of perception. Yes, the same thing of student in classroom and online learning during COVID-19. Okay, uh, perspectives of the students also possible. Perceptions of the students is also possible. All right. So yes. why do you wish to take just this uh, perceptive or uh, perceptions of the students only? Why not teachers? Yeah, teachers and students. I can go with oh, both. Okay, go with it. Yeah, you can. And this is it. new but for now, the both teachers and students, how. right? That's why. Yes, you can do. It. You can do it. But I know now. Now you can create ten topics. I'm sure about it because my my intention was to do the same, and. Now you are in the position to create any topic. You can create. I know this. And uh, now you have to, you'll have to be fixed with certain topic. All right, ma'am? Yes, I have this too. So what should I, which topic should I choose? <laughs> now I will not say you choose one. Tomorrow you'll be third one. I know next week fourth <laughs> also, because now you've got ideas. Around. Yes, I can ma'am. go with anyone, right? Anyone, yes. Now okay. your assignment will be based on the certain topic. Anyone, all right? Mm, okay. Not yes. both, only one. Only okay. one, yes. Okay. Now, I think ma'am has raised hand. Yes, sir. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, since uh, I am Bhuvana and I have uh, the topic that Generation Z1, and uh, I've been searching and I found uh, four, five, I think there are some materials in on research gate but uh, last time i remember lakshman sir <laughs> he asked me to read the books not the articles so what shall i do sir uh, our journey starts with reading mm -hmm. so if there are books on generation z definitely you will read and if articles also, you start reading with it mm -hmm. because uh, now sooner you will have to start your writing. And I think after research context, you'll have to start citing as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you do not have those books, I will try to search. Okay. Just mm -hmm. you email me personally there. And mm -hmm. others also, if you cannot find the books on your uh, in research area, I will try to search, email me, but you know, don't believe more on me because I'm sometimes I joke with the students, you know, I say I'm not only a teacher, I'm a leader, political leader, politician, don't believe me. So you will have to ask me time and again when I will search. All right. Okay, sir. Uh, do that. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll search for you. Everybody, everybody, everyone, please. No, uh, we do... can go with the articles you mean. Yeah, you can go. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Yes, friends, final query from anyone. Sir, uh, for our next class, do you have any uh, reading tasks? Uh, Specific sir, reading tasks? Actually, uh, if you see the assignment 1A and 1B, you will clearly get what we'll talk about in next class. Next class will be all about problem statement. So I'll be uploading problem statement related uh, one research article and already I have uploaded four books. There is there uh, you can find in detail about, you know, uh, the research writing, problem statement writing and all. You go through those books, sir. So there is one one book, sir. No, but I, I uploaded three books, I think, right? But yes. sir, in the Moodle, we have found only one sir. Then I will send you two more. Day only. Through email? Uh, Moodle, I will upload, sir. Uh, oh, okay, sir. It will be fine. Right. Okay, sir. Anyway, 
So I think it's a fruitful class. So how? What is your reflection on the today's class? Uh, sir, it's a very helpful class for us to finalize uh, our research topic. And we have gathered so many uh, information relating how to uh, fix a research topic. As we have uh, almost 17, fr uh, 16 friends here, everyone has its uh, own problem. And all of us share our problems. And you guide us in a very nice way. Mm -hmm. And that enhance our capacity. And in future, uh, it will help us to guide our students. Yeah. I hope so, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, friends, others. Others also. Kus khatta, kus meeta, everything. I have some khatta here, sir. Yes, uh, because of in sir, I could not hear you properly in the first half of the class, I should say. So, uh, I did the class, but uh, later on, as I went on hearing you and other friends, then I got some idea. Okay. Then maybe I think now I have understood a little bit. So I will send you a recording today, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Please. Definitely, I'll send. And the uh, real wonderful class. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Others. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, to choose the topic, I was like brainstorming. I was thinking like which to choose because last time I shared, I shared you about the pedagogy and um, its strategies and all. But still, I was thinking like what to choose. And when all uh, all the friends they shared mm -hmm. uh, their topics, mm -hmm. more and more I got confused, you know. Uh -huh. And later on, only I just uh, picked two and I just shared. It was like a very uh, good class. I say, even in the first class was very good, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Energized. Other friends? So I think we'll get to uh, learn a lot about how to, um, how to uh, conduct or how to do a proper research using all the formats. I think it would be very helpful, sir. It seems like it. Thank you. Definitely, ma'am. One, ma one thing I guarantee you. At the end, At the of, the end class, of the class, you will be familiar with the, the along with the, uh, uh, the component, the component of, the of the resource and what to write, how, write how, even how to collect, how to collect data. data. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Other friends? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, initially, uh, yes. when you were asking about the research, uh, you, uh, some of some of us mentioned about you know having solution or, or you know finding a solution. Does our research paper need to have solution in there, or can we just point out to issues uh, like that as well? So this this year, this semester, we'll only prepare one research proposal, detailed research proposal, and in the same area, we'll be researching for our final semester. Um, so my question was like, uh, do research papers like they need to have solution within them, or it's possible that we don't need to have solution um, in our in our papers? This time we will just plan for research problem and how will you do it? It's a roadmap for our research later on. If we mm -hmm. become quite clear on it. Later on, you will feel very easy to research, sir. No, no okay. solutions are not needed now. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Others? Sir, I have a query, sir. <laughs> Funnel please, our please. topics. Okay, uh -huh. Anu, you go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, I was saying that we managed to, you know, our funnel metaphor that we were talking about just now, we managed to go through that. At least we have something now. So we yes. can start reading on something, start doing something about it now. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Definitely. You will have to do it. My duty is to just push you into the river. And now if you wish to leave, come out, reading more and more. Our next option, nobody will choose. I know. Yes. Yeah. Right? Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, others? 
Sir, I have a query. Uh, yes. maybe. I'm wondering, uh, the results we have only in this uh, course or are we going to uh, do a research in every subjects like in fix, uh, poetry and drama and others? Even you can connect poetry, drama to English language teaching. Oh, that that is that comes under the methodology then of course of course okay i mean um sir uh, uh, maybe other teachers like in poetry and drama and like uh, pragmatic and discourse so if are we, we going to prepare separate researches i mean or we have to do research only in this uh, in your uh, paper here if you see my zero ass assignment zero i have uh -huh. written the areas of english language teaching applied linguistics right yes yeah yes or that any answer. area you can choose any area but the area must be clear to you mm -hmm. okay thank you sir thank you others so yes sir uh sir it was really insightful session and i think the journey begin uh so um, i got that idea and assignments uh 1a that we are going to write the background uh, but uh, I am still confused on the zero assignments. Uh, should we write zero assignment, uh... zero assignment is nothing, sir. It's a kind of initiation. Let me say it's it's a starter. Uh, are we going to write something or one page? If we can write one page, not more than that. Uh, related to our topic, sir. Yes. Uh, the question demands there are many topics, many topics. For example, da, 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 blah blah blah, many more. Which area you're interested in? That's it. That is the starter. Which area you I'm interested in this area because of this reason. This must be a provider. Okay, sir. So in assignments uh, zero, we are going to write just one page about the background uh, that uh, why we are in, interested in that field uh, in a topic. And in assignments one A, we are going to write background and assignment one B. Problem statement. Okay, sir. Uh, we will discuss some more on the next session, sir. Yes. Uh, that Don't go with the problem statement now. Now complete the assignment zero and assignment one only. One A okay, only. Sir. Okay, sir. Because assignment yeah. one B I'll be teaching next week. And then only you will go for that assignment. Okay. Okay, sir. Excuse me, sir. We have to finish assignment one A by next week, sir. Sir, it was one only, right? No assignment 1B. Previously, one I was B thinking. Don't, don't do 1B. 1B okay. deadline is different. If you see, the deadline is extended for 1B. So you need not to go with 1B now. Just go with the 1A. Uh, since uh, 1A and 1B both in the same way, 18 to 24 February. So, <laughs> But the deadline is different. Okay. Thank you, sir. And I suggest everyone to complete these assignments in time because once I proceed further, then you will forget what I told you in earlier class. So the recent knowledge, if you just use I, uh, while writing uh, assignments, it will be fruitful for you, right? Yes, sir. Yes, Krishna, ma'am. Sir, I saw there are three areas. You said that we, we have to choose just one in assignment 1A. There are three areas. Uh, we can describe just one of them. Only one. Uh, do we need? To, do we need to? Uh, do you need? Do we, uh, need to write a literary review for that? No, 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 no. no. Other need to write literature review. Then only step by step we'll go. You will become a perfect research teacher at the end of this semester. Research context. Step by step, only one. When I will just ask for literature review, then only you will go for that, ma'am. All right? Yes, sir. Sir, there is written um, setting scene for the research study, background of the study, research context, and I think all are same, synonymous. synonymous. Aren't they? Yes, of course. What I have written there, I have written, you can choose any of the topic, right? I either. Yes, sir. Yes. Either background of study or uh, research context or research puzzle, whatever you wish to write. One, 
I said Hati Balio or Hati Sab Balio in Nepal. I mean, the elephant is uh, stronger or the stamp having the elephant is stronger. Both are same here in the context of Nepal. It's, it's a kind of, you know, uh, quotes. It's a kind of idiom in our context. So we are going to write yes, sir. Like the, just like you showed last week, the long one story. Yeah. I will send you one sample today. One, not two, three samples I will send you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Other friends? No? Nobody is speaking. Nobody is speaking. Yes, no, no one is there. Again, I say monam suikita lakshanam. Yes, <laughs> we are here. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, please, if anyone has any query, I just wish to get, or if you got, because I don't want to go with the bombarding word and bombarding literature here. If I do like that, then the class will be, you know, missed. I don't know where we'll puzzle around. So, I just want to go in a very simple way, practical way. Uh, this is what I intend to do and I believe that we're getting it well and if anyone has any query I expect you all to say again I'm here and then we're in the class sir I don't have any queries but then yeah I really enjoy the class because we are not rushing we are um, taking one step at a time to learn um, everything properly so yes, I have been enjoying your classes. Thank you, thank you.